we go. That took way longer than it should have done. Doing my daily workout. I say daily. One minute, there's toddler toys under my feet. There we go. The last time sparring at the gym, I got punched in the ribs, so I haven't done any training for a little while. I've been able to throw my right hand without destroying my side. So we play with small gloves, mass multiplier one, simulating wrapped wrists. Wrapped wrists. Let's do a bit of a warm up on. Melky and Jiren. I'm only going to tell you two things. Protect yourself at all times and obey what I say at all times. Let's make this a clean fight. Lost my glove. There we go. Where are you? Oh. Why does he keep losing his glove? Let's do it again. Because I have to pretend like we don't have a left hand. Let's see if I can figure out why he's messing with my glove quick. Maybe it's because it's going too near that light that I've got on. There we go. So yeah, as you can tell, I don't cheese this thing. I actually use this for training. Um, so I'm doing a lot of moving around. Whereas like, you could just stand in front of it and go for blocks and count the hooks. Like this. But yeah, there's no real point in doing that if you, you're trying to actually change. You know. Try and treat it as much like a real fight as you can. And I've lost the vibration in the left controller now. Maybe it's long out. Lost the left again. Yeah. Go back to South Korea. Back up, gentlemen. I think this isn't on one to one. It seems to be on automatic, because there's no way I hit him hard enough to do it. Right, one second. Yeah. Controllers. 50 40. I don't know what's going on with this one. Oh, it's got some vibration in there.
Yeah. Okay. Right. And it's gone. It's with that. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, going to the scorecard. Is there a specific place it disappears? Hmm. Well, I'm not going to be able to beat anyone. Difficult if my left hand keeps disappearing. Right, let's make sure of it. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, man, I, can find it. I, I did just hit him that hard, apparently. Right. And my custom version of Melky. <clears throat> I'm probably going to lose, with my, especially if my left hand just disappears. I haven't done this in a couple of weeks because I've been injured. <laughs> Keep it clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Tell you what, I might just try restarting the game quick. I'm only going to tell you two and things. Left. Protect yourself at all times, and obey what I say at all times. Let's make this a clean fight. Nope. Yep. That was my shambling. Okay. Hopefully we're okay. Step <coughs> back. Yeah, I'm in a lot of trouble with the left hook. So this custom version of Melky is very hard. I've turned up quite a lot of the stats just a little bit past Outlast. That's why I'm being cagey about it. Ah, oh, 
Lost my glove. So yeah, it's very tough. Probably not going to knock him out. <clears throat> I only get 30 seconds rest. Five rounds. Three minute rounds. Because the aggression's turned five, a six, lot up. Seven, Where it usually for a little bit of a combo and then let you respond, it's just like, continue. <laughs> Turn the body shots up a lot as well because they don't usually punch to the body. But, yeah, you turn it up and then they continue their combinations a lot longer. So they've got more combinations to put together. And the gloves gone. There it is. Thank you. The one thing these virtual players are really good at compared to real players, especially like real <coughs> novices or amateurs, is following your angle switches. So it's, we're one of those previous ones. Someone would have just covered up until they got into a position again where they were able to be offensive. When you turn these guys difficulty all the way up, they just turn with you and keep throwing.
can't really afford another knockdown or I've definitely lost the first round. Could have gone either way. I'm using my little elbow bump, which I quite like. Uh, can't wait for the haptic suits where we use our whole body. I'm a cross guard work. In a real fight. You keep moving around like I am now. Doesn't let the opponent get comfortable and set. And the motion in the fight is on your terms. <laughs> but yeah, these guys is always, always set. So yeah, I'd rather that one. I don't. I don't think he's going to give me that round. One shot knocked down. Two, what? Three, four, Come five, on. six, seven, eight. He's gonna knock me out. Nine. No, I'm in. Okay, I'm in. <clears throat> it's lost my glove again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on now. Seven, eight. To win this fight at all now, we're going to need to knock him out, and this is not happening.
try and get a little bit of damage, especially for the body in this round. Now hopefully, hopefully, there's a very small chance we can knock him out in the next one. He's pulled the trigger on that right hand faster. So I'm worried about the return. Last one. Let's try and be clever about this. And pick the shots. Step back. How many times before you go down? Ladies and gentlemen, going to the scorecards, the judges have determined by unanimous decision, your winner is the blue corner. <laughs> yeah, I won all the rounds. I didn't get knocked down in. Ah, so if I knocked him down, yeah, if I knocked him down just once in that last round, and he should have gone down, come on. If I had knocked him down just once, it would have been a tie. That's probably it for today, because I've been out of training for three weeks and I'm dead. I'll chat for a bit if anyone's on. Hello. There we go. Yeah. We got no one in the chat. But just for the sake of anyone joining us late, I, like, look, this is the hardest workout you can do in your own home by a long way. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, mostly if, you, if you're fighting, you want to be sparring real. Some stuff in the VR obviously doesn't work. Like, I'd never land as many right hooks on a person as uh, you do in the VR, because... 
people just move their head back. These people don't, the, the, the VR models, they don't move their heads, whereas somebody's natural reaction if you're coming towards them, even like a beginner, or especially a beginner, is that they move their head back. And so your hook just does, doesn't get near, especially if, it, you know, put their arms out as a bar. But yeah, the, the virtual fighters very tight up with the high guard, and they don't move their heads that much. So if you come around the side with the hooks, they land more often than not, except the left hook, because my glove keeps disappearing. I don't know why. If you if you do play for a little fight, go through everything on easy to sort of get, get just but concentrate on good technique. Don't uh, don't get caught up in. I mean, obviously, if you're doing it to have fun, go into knock them out swinging. But um, if, you, if you use it as a training, use it for realistic training. It is more realistic than shadow boxing. It is more realistic than working the heavy bag. So yeah, just concentrate on your combinations, whichever you're practicing. Make sure you're keeping your your guard or whichever your preferred defensive position is make sure you're keeping that on point the parries work quite well on this parries and catches but if you go through them go from all on easy that will unlock all the fighters but from all on normal all on endurance do them all in outclassed don't mess with any of the settings. And once you've done it on Outclass, then go sort out the settings. Because the default settings are with really big gloves and with the force multiplier on. So as you get tired and your punches slow down, it will start automatically adjusting how much damage they do to a kind of baseline. So as you get tired, your performance in the game doesn't necessarily decrease. It makes your punches harder, as hard as they were at the beginning. So you want to turn that off, set it to one, turn it off, make the gloves small because the big gloves in the game add a ton of range that just isn't there in real life and you have to move a lot more uh, and simulate wrapped wrists uh, so that means you can't do little silly slaps or you can't cheese it that way uh, and that's yeah that's how I play it it's a hard workout 15 minutes that's all <laughs> that's all you need to do at that kind of pace uh, <clears throat> when I'm fit but I've tried it with um, weights to better simulate, say, a 16 ounce glove, because that's what you should be sparring in. Uh, and the, I think the controllers themselves, I'm pretty sure I weigh about eight ounces. Though. So, and it's all it's all sort of mass at the end of your hand. If you're wearing sort of like 10 ounce gloves, more evenly distributed around the hand. So it's not too far off a 10 ounce glove, I don't think. Um, obviously, they're not 10 ounces, they're lighter than 10 ounces, but the way that the weight you would make them feel heavier than a glove. Um, but yeah, I got some weights for them to get them closer to the 16 ounce and make it, yeah, make it, and that's hard. <laughs> that's very, uh, yeah, but that's how it, that's how it is with Spark 16 ounce, smacking the bag around, doing your quick little shadow boxing moves, you put on 16 ounce gloves and maybe you're fighting someone taller than you and your hands just aren't quick enough to reach their head before they just go, hmm, lean back. Anyway, thanks for coming by later. If anyone comes by and watches this, peace out.